Hello and uh, welcome to my comparison of the Tobii Eye Tracker 5 and the Track IR 5. Head tracking is really important for an avid sim player, so whether you're looking to buy the Track IR 5 or the Tobii Eye Tracker 5, or if you're like me and want to know if the Tobii Eye Tracker 5 is a good replacement for the Track IR 5, you'll find this video useful. I mostly play Arma 3 and DCS, but this should also apply for space sims, driving sims and the like. I've been using Track IR 5 for almost a decade now, and because there is a lack of comparisons with the Tobii Eye Tracker 5, I decided to buy it and put it to the test. So let's get right to it. Both units have similar functions, are priced similarly, and are advertised toward gamers. So I think this is a fair comparison. The Track IR 5 has been with us since 2009, but is surprisingly still the go-to for head tracking in games. Meanwhile, the much more modern Tobii Eye Tracker 5, which was released in 2020, is a new contender. When it comes to the hardware, Track IR 5 is known for its bad build quality, as both the sensor and the Pro Clip are made entirely out of cheap plastic. The Tobii Eye Tracker, on the other hand, is very robust and sits on your monitor, so it should last a lifetime. The Tobii Eye Tracker is obviously more comfortable since you don't have to attach anything to your headphones. However, the sensor placement is much more flexible with the Track IR. You can put it on the top, bottom, or even the sides of your monitor. It doesn't even have to be on your monitor. I've seen a setup where the IR sensor was behind the person, pointing to the back of their head. The Tobii Eye Tracker has no such flexibility. It must be mounted on the bottom of your monitor, and might not work well with really big or really wide monitors. The low position of the sensor can also be a problem for sim players, because your peripherals might get in the way of the sensor and your face. Say, if you have a steering wheel on your desk, or in my case, a joystick in front of you. This is what it looks like when the field of view is blocked by my joystick. My solution was to offset the joystick to the right on my desk, like in the F16. The software that comes with the Tobii Eye Tracker is very easy to use, but not as configurable as the Track IR software. You have access to some sliders, which in most use cases is fine, but doesn't allow you to fine tune your experience. The curve editor in the Track IR software allows for more precise control. Alright, let's see how they perform in game. I'm currently using the Tobii Eye Tracker with default settings for DCS. As you can see, it doesn't give much range of motion. The software allows me to tweak the sensitivity of the pitch and yaw. If I crank the sensitivity up to max, I'm able to look behind me. I immediately noticed that the Tobii Eye Tracker, while good at tracking your eyes, does not provide the same accuracy for head tracking. Not only is it less responsive than the Track IR, but it often bugs out unpredictably. Let's compare the two. I am now using the Tobii Eye Tracker with the gaze feature turned off, which means that it only tracks my head and not my eyes. Looking around is actually quite difficult, because it jumps around a lot. Minor movement is fine, but if I want to look around in my cockpit or behind me, I'm having difficulties. Now let's compare this to the Track IR. As you can see, rotating in straight lines is not a problem. In order to give you a better idea of how inaccurate the Tobii Eye Tracker is, I'm going to look at this instrument panel and keep my head perfectly still. I'm not moving my head, but it's still quite twitchy. Here's how it looks in the Tobii Experience software. It's clearly not just an issue with the game. To add to that, I noticed that it catches my facial expressions too. For example, blinking, moving my eyebrows or opening my mouth will confuse the tracking. Now the same thing but with Track IR. It's very stable and doesn't suffer from the same issues. I can easily manipulate different controls in the cockpit.
the Tobii eye tracker is also lacking in responsiveness. I will demonstrate this by shaking my head left and right. There seems to be some smoothing applied that I can't disable in the software. Looking at the settings, you can see that sensitivity is maxed out and the acceleration curve is completely linear. And that's as good as it gets. I'll now do the same with Track IR. If I shake any quicker than this, I'll drop my headphones. The Track IR allows for more precision. Both Track IR and Tobii Eye Tracker can do 6 degrees of freedom. Meaning, in addition to looking around, you can also move your head. However, Tobii Eye Tracker limits it to certain games in the software for unknown reasons. Here you can see that I can use head position in DCS, but not in Arma 3, where it's just as useful. That means I'm missing out on features such as leaning in a vehicle or on foot, which is possible with the Truck IR. Head position in DCS with the Tobii Eye Tracker is decent at best. It requires a lot of effort to focus on things in the cockpit. There's also a hard-coded center notch that I can't get rid of in the software. You can see the effect of that when I slide left and right. I'm now going to show you my best effort looking at different instrument panels in the cockpit. Here's doing the same with Track IR. One really important thing that sets the two apart is the True View option in Track IR. True View is a software toggle that makes controlling your 6 degrees of freedom so much more intuitive. It essentially aligns your positional adjustments with the rotation of your head. It's really hard to describe in words, so I'm just going to demonstrate. With True View enabled, leaning forward towards my monitor will make the game lean forward towards the direction I'm looking. With True View disabled, leaning forward will always lean towards the front of my cockpit, no matter where I'm looking. It doesn't sound like a game changer, but it is. It makes navigating your cockpit so much more intuitive. It's a shame Tobii Eye Tracker doesn't have this feature but it could technically be added as its own in software. Track IR sometimes has the issue of not centering properly after you've looked around a lot. This can be mitigated by creating a notch in the curves. It's not that big of an issue with the Tobii eye tracker, it happens very rarely. 
even if I leave my computer and come back, it puts me perfectly at the center again. The Track IR often requires a center reset every time you remove your headphones, because they are seated slightly different every time you put them on again. The Tobii Eye Tracker also has this auto center toggle, which I haven't even tried because I never felt it was necessary. The Tobii Eye Tracker has something that Track IR doesn't, and that's eye tracking. So what can you do with that? It's called gaze tracking and can be used to assist the head tracking. Not only does your view pan with your head, but also according to where you look. As a Track IR user, I found this feature to be more distracting than helpful, but I can see myself getting used to it given more time. Through my experiments, I found that using 50-50 in head tracking and eye tracking with the Tobii Eye Tracker works best. The head tracking gives me more freedom to look around, while the eye tracking adds accuracy. I've set it up so that uh, my head and eyes can rotate my view 90 degrees individually and uh, 180 degrees combined. Rotating my head to the right gets me this far. If I now look at the edge of the screen, it goes further. I'm now going to show some footage of dogfighting in DCS, just to give you an idea of how they perform. First the Tobii Eye Tracker and then the Track IR. Pay attention to what's happening with my view right here. This is an interesting phenomenon that I'll explain soon. I want to show you the phenomenon that we saw in the dogfighting clip. It's a consequence of having too sensitive eye tracking and it's very easy to reproduce. All I have to do is uh, zoom in and focus on something, like a display. My eyes are constantly tracking the point, but the software is over adjusting, causing this nauseating wobble. In conclusion, the Tobii Eye Tracker just isn't accurate enough when it comes to head tracking for my needs. 
quick and precise moves are just not possible. But I really like the rest of the package, eye tracking and uh, Windows features such as face unlock and screen awake. It's such a nice feeling not having to put something on your head when launching the game. I can play without headphones and that's not to be underestimated on hot summer days. I really wish it did a better job with the head tracking, but it seems like an afterthought more than a core feature of the device. If you want quick responsiveness and accuracy, go with Track IR. If you want comfort or need eye tracking for whatever reason, go with Toba Eye Tracker. That's all I have for you today. I hope this video helped out and thanks for watching.